Hello everyone, my name is Andros Cisneros and in this tutorial I want to show you the best ways to set up contact as a multi-timbral instrument in Logic Pro. First, I want to show you how to do it using aux tracks. Second, I want to show you how to do it using external MIDI tracks. Originally, this video was intended for my Berkeley College of Music students, but in this case, you know, I just want to make it available to everyone. So I hope you find this helpful and let's start. Let's have a great time. Let's do it. A software sampler is multi-timbral if it is capable of producing more than one type of sound at a time. Like Contact. Contact is Native Instruments' flagship software sampler and one of the leading software sampling applications on the market. It was first introduced in 2002 and Contact combines sampler functionality with elements of synthesis and effects. Now, let me show you how to set up Contact as a multi-timbral instrument using aux tracks. In the software instrument tracks channel strip, click the instrument slot and navigate to a multi-output instance of Contact. Here you can choose which type of output configuration you want to use. In our example, we choose the 16 stereo out instance. I know it's tempting, but please leave the multi-timbral box unchecked. In the contact plugin window, load the number of instruments you want to route to separate outputs to the instrument rack. To do so, double-click them one after the other in the contact browser or drag them to the rack. If contact's output section is not visible under the instrument rack, tick outputs in contact's workspace menu. The output section is now visible and is configured by default. To create one separate mixer channel for each of the instruments you have previously loaded in the rack, click the Presets Batch Configuration drop-down menu and select Batch Functions, clear output section and create one individual channel for each loaded instrument. Contact's output section now has four output channels corresponding to and named after the instruments loaded in the rack. Under each channel strip, you can see the output channel used by Contact to send audio to Logic. So let's create now auxiliary tracks for each of Contact's multi-instruments. Make the mixer visible by choosing View, Show Mixer from Logic Pro menu bar. Or you can just press the X key. Click the plus icon at the bottom right of the Contact instrument track. Each click will add a Logic aux track. Add to the mixer as many separate tracks as you have instruments loaded in the contact instrument rack. The input of each aux track is automatically assigned to a different contact output channel in ascending order. Rename your tracks. And once done, select them all, right-click on them, and click Create Track, or keyboard shortcut Ctrl T. You will see now the aux tracks displayed on the main window. By using the up and down arrows, in your computer keyboard, you will be able to select your desired track to monitor your instruments. The mixer is now set up. Instrument 1 plays Contact's main output, corresponding to the first instrument loaded in the rack. Aux 1 plays Contact's 3 and 4 output, corresponding to the second instrument loaded in the rack, and so on. Now, let me show you a second way of doing this, and this is by using external MIDI tracks. So, step 1. Very similar to what we did before, in the Software Instrument Tracks channel strip, click the instrument slot and navigate to a multi-output instance of contact and just hit Create. While pressing and holding the Option key, choose Window, Open MIDI Environment, or press Command-0. If you already have an environment window open, this command opens another environment window. Go to the new drop-down menu and select Multi-Instrument you will see a multi-instrument floating box. And as you can see, there's inside 16 boxes. And this refers to the MIDI channels. To activate the MIDI channels, please click on every box from 1 to 16. Make sure to do it in order. Once done, we have to link this multi-instrument with our contact instrument track. I recommend you renaming the multi-instrument so you don't forget. If you haven't done so already, in the Contact Plugin window, load the number of instruments you want to route to separate outputs to the instrument rack. In the External MIDI Tracks channel strip, add to the mixer as many separate tracks as you have instruments loaded in the Contact instrument rack. In this case, I'm going to select 4. If Contact's output section is not visible under the instrument rack, similar to what we did before, select Outputs in Contact's workspace menu. 
to create one separate mixer channel for each of the instruments you have previously loaded in the rack, click the presets, batch configuration, drop down menu and select batch functions and then select clear output section and create one individual channel for each loaded instrument. Let's get back to our external MIDI tracks. Right click on the track header and select the reassign track menu. Go to mixer and select your multi-instrument. Make sure to select channel one for the first track and channel two for the second track and so on. What are the differences between both options? The aux tracks and external MIDI tracks. Just quickly, as you can see right from the get-go, with the aux tracks, you get more independence and control. You can add EQ, audio effects, sense, assign groups, set automation, panning, and also the fader moves independently from the other tracks. Plus you can mute and solo the tracks. If you end up using audio effects in all these tracks, you will need to keep in mind that this will have a toll on your RAM and CPU. But as previously mentioned, you will have more control and independence. On the other hand, the external MIDI tracks won't be as heavy on the CPU, but you don't have that much control. You can still independently control your faders and panning, you can mute them as well, add automation, but you won't be able to add EQ, audio effects, sense, and so forth. This is a great option when working in sessions with many, many, many tracks, even hundreds of tracks. So you now know two fantastic options for setting up contact as a multi-timbral instrument in Logic. And that's it, we are done. I hope you find this super helpful and please hit that subscribe button, ring that bell if you wanna keep yourself up to date with all these tutorials, all these tips, all these secrets. So it's been a pleasure for me. My name is Jando Cisneros. Let's enjoy life, hug your people, love your people. Let's have a fantastic time when we're composing in Logic, if we're using contact, whatever. Please have fun, enjoy life, okay? See you next time and thank you very much. Bye-bye.